Last week, Hurricane Aaron became the first named storm of the 2025 hurricane season. And while the damage was minimal, Aaron quickly grew into a powerful system. First Alert Meteorology Annie Giovannucci talked with an expert from the National Hurricane Center to break down Aaron's rapid intensification. In just 24 hours, Hurricane Aaron strengthened in its intensity from a Category 1 to a Category 5. Now, Hurricane Aaron underwent a process known as rapid intensification. The technical defi definition of rapid intensification is essentially a 35 mile per hour increase in winds over a 24 hour period. Most storms that become uh, major hurricanes, which are the category three, four and five storms, go through some period of rapid intensification to get to that strength. Now, a couple of factors come together to allow hurricanes to rapidly strengthen, which include warm sea surface temperatures, high atmospheric moisture, and also low vertical wind shear, which is the change in wind speed or direction with height. Hurricane forecasters use this information along with high resolution hurricane models, NOAA hurricane aircrafts. These collect data and also plug that data into these models. They also use satellite imagery, which gets updated every minute. All of these are used to assess the structure of the storm and determine its intensity. The National Hurricane Center did predict significant strengthening and the potential for rapid intensification, but Aaron did intensify sooner than what was expected. But it really was one of the fastest rates of strengthening on record. Uh, actually, it became the fifth, uh, fifth uh, biggest increase in wind speed over a 24 hour period of any storm we've ever seen in the Atlantic Basin. Uh, and also then the third fastest for how much the pressure dropped in that storm over a 24 hour period. So it was a really significant event. The biggest concern with rapid intensification is when it happens within hours of the storm making landfall. Uh, we have seen these cases where these storms have rapidly strengthened uh, just before landfall and it is a big concern. Had Aaron been only about 100 or 150 miles south of where it was last week, it would have done this rapid intensification over those leeward islands uh, which would have likely caused some uh, 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 quite a bit of destruction in those islands. Thankfully, it was just north uh, where it didn't uh, cause uh, much m as much of a problem. Hurricane season will peak as we head into the month of September, and NOAA has predicted that this season's activity will be above normal.